Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Khurana from Intellect Digest. Today I'm going to give you the part 2 of the Samsung Galaxy S Note useful features. I hope you have seen the part 1 of the video. We are giving the link on the top left hand side of this screen. So please check out the part 1 if you have not seen it. Uh, in this part, I'm going to talk about all the features which are very useful and related to the S Pen functionality. If you look at the bottom of the Galaxy Note 2, you just pull it out, this, there is a S Pen. This S Pen is a special stylus which comes with the Galaxy Note 2 and gives you lots of functionalities. Let's start with the special screens and special notification menu. If you notice as soon as I take out the S Pen, the home screen changes. This is a special note screen. If you can see here closely, there is a special icon but on the bottom here which takes you to the screen and shows you all the applications which are related to the S Pen functionality. Also when you swipe down the notification screen, here you have recommended shortcuts for S Pen. These recommended shortcuts include the gallery, messaging, settings, this is the node application and other stuff which you can do with the S Pen. So I find this really really useful. Another very useful feature of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 with the S Pen is that you can take the screenshots and the screen clips very quickly. Let me show you how to take the screenshot. On the S Pen you have a small button here which you call S button. Keep it clicked, keep it touched to the screen for a second and it takes a screenshot. You can also scribble on the screenshot and as soon as you take a screenshot you will see some menus appear. You can use a pen, make a note onto the screenshot, add some comments, make some highlights just like this etc and you just save it by clicking the tick mark here and it gets saved to the snapshot folder in the gallery. All the screen clips that you have taken are saved and show you the screen clip feature. This was the screenshot. Say you want to use a certain part of the screen in your note or uh, in your email or chat message etc. What you do is that you keep the button pressed and you make a selection. This is the screen clip which gets selected. You can simply drag it to the application where you want to use it. I have just uh, copied it to the clipboard. Now you can paste it anywhere. Let me just quickly go to the messaging application and in messaging application I create a new message. In new message I use the clipboard and I paste the clip which I have cut. And this clip I can send to any member. So I can use it in WhatsApp, chat on messenger, email application etc. So this is the way you can take screenshot as well as screen clips. Another very useful feature is the quick command. You just press the button, swipe upwards and it will identify certain actions which are you know pre-configured like the internet search, email, google maps, call, messaging etc. Say I want to call a certain number. I just need to start typing and I make a hash symbol and I can type the number as well as the name. Say I take hash 303. So it starts calling the number which I typed. If you want to do an internet search with the same, swipe upwards, make a question mark symbol, say it does an internet search with the keyword that you type. There are certain other functionalities also in the quick command feature and you can see all these internet search, email, google maps, call, messaging. Handwriting recognition and handwriting input is another very important feature and useful feature and it works with almost all the applications when you have S Pen in hand. It replaces the normal keyboard with a place where you can scribble and write. So I'll just write down a few words to show you the demo. I am typing here and it is taking my typing input and typing it here. So 
now I can simply give space press and enter write something in my normal handwriting so see it can take my handwriting input it works pretty fine and saves a lot of time if you don't like to use the S Pen for handwriting you can simply press here in the keyboard symbol and you can start typing normally this works with most of the applications there is an automatic handwriting correction feature in the handwriting recognition let me just write a word which is wrong in spelling it will automatically correct L O N D O M it recognizes that I'm trying to write London and it corrects it automatically in f in case you are deliberately trying to write the wrong word you can just click here on the suggestions and you can use the word London and you can type additional words like anything and if you want to remove them you just make an arrow like this it will be deleted say I type express and I want these two words to be joined I just do it like this and these will be joined say I want to give a space from here I just make a vertical line this and it will be separated by a space and to delete any letter from a word just scribble like this and it will be gone you can also overwrite say you want to convert this S to a T so you can overwrite on it and it will be converted to a T this is how easy it is quite intuitive once you start using and you get a hang of it you'll find it very easy to follow let's talk about the air view feature which is implemented using the S Pen in the Note 2 in air view if you just hover onto a folder you will see small thumbnails of the images just like this so it's quite interesting you can just uh, keep your S Pen over it and you will see a small dot it will show you small thumbnails and it will also enlarge these images it works with the videos as well as well as the snapshots so this is the part 2 of our uh, Galaxy Note 2 tips and tricks series in the next part we'll show you some of the features of the S Note application and the S Planner which are very very useful so stay tuned for the part 3 for more such videos do subscribe to our official youtube channel youtube.com slash intellect digest this is Rohit Khurana signing off thanks for watching